Morning, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Uh, been busy a couple hours already. I'll show you what I've been up to. It's already 80 degrees and 50% humidity. Uh, if those of you don't know what humidity it does to your temperature, it increases the feel. And I'm sort of sopping wet already. I have taken the silkies, all but four of the youngest of the silkies out of the chicken tractor because it was getting overcrowded and I put him over here and they're not very happy they want to go back in with their friends eh? little silky birds so they'll get settled in eventually I should just feed them right now that'll probably make them happy I'll do that when I'm done with the camera so they're in here with the big boys and they'll settle in well because they actually the uh, smaller silkies were actually as big as the bantams that they were in with. And then the big silkies are almost as big as the full-grown silkies. So they're ready to go in and mix in with the big boys. So then over here, I've been working in my herb garden. I just uh, ran out and was working hot and heavy before it got too hot outside. I want to show you though, my chamomile plants are bushing out, they're spindly looking things, but they're bushing out very nicely and providing a lot of flowers. And I just keep coming out here and snipping off the flowers as I go. I didn't get that one in time, it's folded out, I'll still grab it and keep the head. But uh, you got to get them before the petals fold and dry, uh, fall off. Oh, and I've been out destroying these ugly fat worms. Ugh. Disgusting things. Ugh. These ugly green worms are all over everything. I don't know what they are, but forgive me. They are destructive. I was out. They were they're all through my trees, those worms, those ugly worms. All through my trees out there in the meadow. Uh, way out there. And I'll bring you to that in a few minutes, so. So I've been picking off worms all over the place as I go, and I'm going to harvest the carnations, or that uh, chamomile here in a few minutes, but I just wanted to show you how it's very spindly. This is one form of chamomile. This is the, um, it doesn't say actually, it says farm fresh chamomile. I don't know what type this is, because I'll go show you the other two forms of chamomile that I have. Now this one is bushed out and grown quite a bit, because when I got it, it was about this tall in a little pot about this big around. So it's definitely spreading nicely. And that one is a little bit more spindly, but it's spreading out nicely, providing some flowers for me. Then my lemongrass, which I haven't yet started to use, but I eat a, uh, them once in a while. Mosquito plant, really growing really slow. Sweet leaf, the stevia has snapped out of it, but the heat wave, the worst of the heat wave, has sort of mellowed because we had some rain. The rain helps a lot. And then uh, dill. It's starting to grow finely. Sage is starting to bloom out. Some little pretty purple flowers starting to form. I love sage. Oh, Rosemary has worms on it. Ew. Um, I don't know what that is. Ugh. Oops, I lost it. Great. Um, I don't know what that is, but I, uh, I'm constantly picking insects off my plants. It's really brutal out here this year. I've never had it so bad as it is this year with the insects eating my plants. So it's, it's, a, it's a continuous fight every day. And then here I've got two types of chamomile. Now these I planted a while back and I'm not sure if I told you about them. I've got Roman chamomile right here. It's a bushy little thing. This one is spread outwards since I planted it about a week ago, but it hasn't put out any flowers. Now this is a, oh, a really nice aromatic herb. Really smells nice. And then here's, um, this is Roman, this is German chamomile with the flower stalk coming up and it's going to have a whole mess of flowers on the head. So that's a whole different type of chamomile. And let me see if he smells. Yeah, but milder. So the Roman chamomile really smells nice. The, the leaves are really, really nice smelling. 
Then over here I planted these today. I've got garden sage, big leafy sage, big leaves. Look at the size of that leaf. And that has a nice smell as well. I really love the smell of these. And then basil, something else I love the smell of. Basil is great with tomatoes. And then I've got some, oh wow, look at that. I just planted this and there's already a worm on it. Now these are canker worms. These are an evil little mess this year. The uh, canker worms. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. So this is a Thai basil. And I lost the tag, but it's a Thai basil. And it's got a, um, what is that? Anise and, um, oh, I forgot the other. It's got a mixture of, of flavors. It's, it almost tastes licorice like. Black licorice flavor. Uh, very nice tasting herb. So these three I planted this morning out here around my rock bed. I still have to finish putting the rocks around, but when the nights get cooler and, and uh, the sun is up later in the evenings, like I did last year, I'll start putting the rocks around here in the evenings when I'm relaxing and done with the rest of the work for the day. I'm going to start continuing my herb bed around the rocks. I've got to cut down all the trees that are bushing out from the stumps that I had cut last year. Make sure they don't grow up. I'm not sure what this is. I'm going to give it a chance to find out. Scraggy little bush. I want to say it's a blueberry shrub, but I'm not quite sure. They look like uh, the high blueberry shrubs. Then, um, where is it? I'll take you over here. I was at a garage sale this weekend. Let me pause the camera. I got a weed eater, a Craftsman, Sears Craftsman weed eater for $3. It runs, but it sputters and, and stalls out all the time. So I'm going to do a carb cleanup right now while it's still cool out. I'll show you what I was doing with that. I was attempting to uh, to do some cleaning up here in the yard, but this was sputtering too bad on me and kept stalling out. So I'll show you over here. I uh, zipped out all the grass that was in front of the RV. Now you might remember, some of you might remember, I have tomatoes up here. Been planted a couple weeks now. And with this extreme hot and extreme cold fluctuating weather, nothing's growing. My lettuce that I planted uh, two months ago hasn't grown or done anything at all yet so it's just an odd year so I, I cut out all this here in front of the RV where I go in and out all the time and then I cut a path here in front of the solar panels and I started to cut along the electric fence line actually you can almost see I think where it ended uh, right up by those trees you can see the path I cut you can see it it stopped right there the machine stalled out and that was the end and then I fired up the lawnmower, which needs a carburetor clean out, and I mowed a path out to the camper, uh, the workshop camper, and then that stalled out for good. So I'm having struggles. I have to clean carburetors now. It just has to be. So uh, I just wanted to get that path done because the ticks were so bad out here that uh, they were getting on me. Every time I even took a step out here, I'd have a tick on me. Guaranteed. Every single time. So I cut down these tall grasses. You can see the path so that I can walk out here in relatively safety. And then I started cutting around the trees because the worms are devouring everything. My dogwood has no leaves left at all. It has been completely devoured by these fat, ugly green worms. So I had to get rid of them. And apples, the uh, mulberry is happy, nothing's bothering it. And then all the other trees, everything had worms devouring them. So, and then my mower died, so I started hand pulling around my roses, which were so buried in the stuff that they had no chance. So, I was at, I got all the worms out, these ugly, uh, they're called canker worms. I'm going to have to show you some of them later on. Uh, when I have a camera in my hand and I'm looking for some others because they'll be back. They're, they're really thick this year like never before. I've never seen them like this this year. And what they do is they eat the leaves on your trees. They devour them to nothing. And they strip the dogwood completely, completely bare. So my poor little struggling apple trees, 
the, the deer ate, now the worms are eating. So it's really brutal out here in the forest. Really brutal trying to keep your plants alive. Organically, that is, without pesticides and chemicals.